I'm Mel from Beautifully Flawed Farm, and I am here with one of my gorgeous death layer um, hens. Um, she must have gotten in a pretty good scuffle. Um, if my face is red, it's because I've been a little emotional over my little girl here. Um, uh, her, her eye looks gouged out, um, and the other eye is definitely infected. And so I kind of wanted to go over some like care that I'm going to be giving her. Um, I've separated her, which is the first step. Um, I've given her her food and her water. I've stuck her beak in her water just so that I know that she is getting, you know, hydrated. Um, something else that I used is um, Vetresen Poultry Care. It's got um, hydrochloric acid, um, basically just electrolyzed water, sodium chloride, phosphates, and sodium chlor chlorolite. <laughs> I can never say so like that. Um, so as I was looking, I knew that I had some um, some pink eye spray for my box from last year. And I just found it, and but I, I'm going to make a different video on different medications that you can use um, on the farm. Um, this was the other thing. This is what I got for the goats last year. And I'm here to tell you that this is the exact same thing as this, except this is labeled poultry. And this on the front label is a dairy cow, beef cow, sheep, and goat. So, now I will say that this ha is, is quite large. And it's got a really convenient spray nozzle. Um, this one, it's got a lot less in it. Um, but there's a lot of... Other things that you can see on here, like pecking wounds, um, cuts, frostbite, and vent prolapse. And um, even though it shows this, I probably will not buy whichever one was most expensive. I'm probably not going to buy anymore. It will just be this. Um, I, I really like the convenience of this, even though it gives you tips on what you can do on this, but they're the exact same product. There's, there's nothing different whatsoever. Um, and then I'm also going, I'm going to clean out her eye, try to clean out her eye, um, eyes, because it's both of them, um, just with some Neomed wound wash. And then I'm going to apply, um, the spray on her, um, eyes again. This will be her second, um, second dose of this so let's let's see all right little girl come here come here now you're probably done being messed with aren't you so as you can see this eye um it's really kind of gooey and then this eye she just completely I haven't been able to get it to the point where I can like see if that's her eye actually gouged out or if it's um, if it's just really really pecked on. So what I'm going to use first is the um, wound wash. And I like to use this because it's no burning, no stinging. And it just kind of just washes it out just to give it a little bit more. And so we're going to do that same thing. Oh, this side. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I am just going to apply some of the Vetresen. She does not like it. Antimicrobial poultry care even though the other product is the exact same. I know, I know, I know. She's also got some pecking spots. 
um, up underneath here. And so I'm just going to spray a little there. I'm going to spray a little bit on her nose. She has some peck marks there. And as I'm just checking her out, I'm just kind of... Oh, she's got a spot over here. Okay. And I think... Yes. Up under here. Okay, honey. Okay. Alright. Now I'm just going to put her back into her little enclosure. Um, I'm going to let the eyes seep for a little bit. Um, I will also... I will also be um, be putting a warm compress on there. I'm probably going to hand feed her her um, her food for a little while um, because she really is very messed up right now. Um, I did have. My rooster um, looked like his eye was kind of gooey too, so I'm probably going to go ahead and grab him and do him as well. All right, now we're going to go see if I can get my rooster. Let's see if I can get this thing open. Hey, buddy. Hey, bud. The other three hens look great, but, oh, yeah. Let me see if I can get him. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come on. Come here. Oh. Probably gonna make me go all the way up in there. Uh, looks like that's what I'm gonna have to do. Okay. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, this does not make me feel warm and fuzzy inside at all. Lord have mercy. Don't let anybody get up in here. I'm going to have one of the kids help me. Come here, buddy. So here is my rooster. As you can see, his other eye is sickly. It doesn't look great. Um, he definitely looks like he's he's sick. Like you can see, like crust up through here. Okay, like give me the um, wound wash. And this eye, oh, the that blue one there. Thank you. So we're gonna take that one wash, the same one that I used earlier. Infected. Yeah. He's probably gonna not gonna be happy with me. Can't really. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just hold it still. Right like that. Do I put it on the top of his head? That's the one I think. I'm getting both eyes. Uh, both eyes. <laughs> the other day yeah. that eye was just like, it just had like a white glaze over it. Completely encapsulated. Alright, now I'm gonna do the vetrosome that I did earlier. He has some a lot of spots on his comb. So I'm also gonna get that. So what's been attacking? I don't know. Is that the hen rooster? Yeah, this is the death layer rooster. I just don't, he just doesn't look great overall. 
All right, well, we're gonna let this go for a little bit and then um, we're, um, hopefully we're gonna be getting some teramycin and that will, that'll be his antibiotic. Um, hopefully we can get them all taken care of. It's, no, it's always something on the farm, isn't it? It's always something. <laughs> Okay, I'm back at it again today. I'm all wet because it's really gloomy and completely rainy here in South Carolina. Um, so it turns out I don't not I, I no longer believe that um, that my death layer chickens um, have been gouging each other's eyes out. <laughs> um, I think that it's a little bit more. I think it's a little worse than that at this moment. Um, I, I believe that they are infested with um, mites and chicken lice. They have been completely by themselves, and I did remove the hen um, that I was working on yesterday, as, long, as well as the rooster um, from the other three hens that I have up there. Now, these, these chickens just came to our farm, um, geez, about a month and a half ago or so, maybe about a month and a half or so um and and i have been i have had them separated thankfully i'm not sure if they came here with with the lights and i'm not gonna place blame or anything like that um but we are going to try our best to eradicate this issue um i am i i did i am working on a blog post um that has everything to do with um chicken lice what it's about how to treat it um, different remedies and how to prevent them. Um, I have not had any other problems on my farm so far. Knock on invisible wood. Um, <clears throat> so I'm not sure. I, I'm really just not sure how they attracted this. So today what I'm going to do, basically you need diatomaceous earth, which I do not have at the moment. Um, I'm giving them a little bit of an immune booster. I give them a, a little bit of probios. In their water a tiny little bit of vitamin b12 and their water and i also i have a creeper and also um apple cider vinegar so what i'm going to feed them today because they have not touched any of their food what i'm going to feed them is something that i try to give my chicks when i bring them home or when they've been hatched out and it's chick essentials. This has um, a crude protein rate of 10, which is a little less than what, what her hen feed is. Okay, and this chick essentials is basically corn, um, rendered beef tallow, which is basically fat from a beef cow, um, peanuts, dried cranberries, white millet, turmeric, oregano, teff seed, dried cricket, dried shrimp, zeolite, um, fenugreek, dried celery, and diatomaceous earth. And that is the main reason why I am feeding them this today because I do not have, um, I don't have, I don't have diatomaceous earth. So I did ask a neighbor, but I'm not sure if they actually have any right now or not. Um, however, this does have it, and so this would give me a quick, Give them a quick boost of what they need. Um, I'm also going to take some Q-tips and with the apple cider vinegar and kind of go around their eyes just a little, not on their eyes, around the eyes and around their nose. Um, and then I'm going to take some blue coat. Can you hand me the blue coat, please? And I'm going to take blue coat and spray underneath their wings, under their tail feathers, um, around their, their butt area. Um, that will give me a little bit of a good start on getting these to better. In the meantime, we are going to be getting some DE, um, diatomaceous earth, for my other my other three hens that are up there and we're also going to treat that chicken coop completely um i i'm trying to go a more natural route rather than just putting um seven on them which is a 
pest control substance you could do powder on them but I, I'm not I'm not in the business of really using harsh chemicals on them because I do use them for eggs and for hatching and these right now are my most prized possessions on the farm except for my goats, my goats. um it looks a little hard. hard it looks a little harder when you first get it out but I'm going to be mixing a little bit of apple cider vinegar and some water into it It's raining right now. I'm just gonna go out to the faucet and grab a little water. Or you could just reach out the bowl and just. Save. Well, it's not raining really hard enough yet <laughs> to really do that. not as hard as it looks. It looks hard, but it's not as hard as it really looks. I do have them, the hen and my rooster, separated at the moment. So, I was just going to make two separate food containers at the moment. Once I get them treated and eating a little bit, then I will put them together. Does not smell the greatest because of those shrimp and crickets, I am sure. But, and it takes a little while for this to kind of absorb this water and kind of get it to the consistency that I really want it to be. That looks gross. It does look gross. Open just a tiny, tiny bit of that in there. And like I said, I've already got the vitamin B and the probios in their water with a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar helps with a ton of stuff. It's probably the best product to ever have on your farm. If I were you, I'd buy it in bulk. Because it, it especially it's, helps when the chickens are like very dehydrated. Yes, and it, it helps keep your water fresh as well. If you have a waterer that you don't have to fill every single day, you slap in some apple cider vinegar and boom. You don't have to change it the next day. Also, apple cider vinegar helps with water with the waterers not having to have so much of algae and stuff on the Right, sides. it helps with the algae. It helps with a lot of things. It he definitely helps with mites, lice, um, just a ton of stuff. Alright, this is just about okay what I want it to be. I want it to be just good enough where there's some liquid in there where she can just dip her beak in. We still get all of the protein and everything else in there that I need her to have. Now I'm going to work on my roosters. This stuff smells like it reminds me of chicks. Well, it's because it's a chick starter. It's like a yeah. chick treat. I know. <laughs> Even though the chicks don't really eat it. I mean, and this this could probably be, help to be a little bit fresher. We have had this for a little bit, um, but anytime I try to um, hatch out chicks, this is usually my go-to. Um, is is this chick starter right here? bit of muscle in it and I am wearing gloves because well it's chicken lice and chicken lice cannot 
live on you, but it can it can stay on you for 24 hours. Um, hot water does not kill them. I don't know about you, but I do not want anything on me. It might not hurt us, but we still don't want anything on us. And now my hand, both of her eyes are completely shut now. And so I want to get them treated as fast as possible here. <laughs> you hear that? Yeah, I know. The <laughs> Rooster's talking. And when he talks, she talks. It's kind of funny to watch him. Okay. It's not as liquidy on that one as, as much as I would like it to be. It's a rooster. He'll figure it out. He'll figure it out. He at least has an eye. Chick shall come Okay. First, what I want to do. First what I want to do is get my girl. So, YouTube. And I'm just gonna go. She doesn't appreciate it, I don't think. Hold on. I know. Come here, darling. Come here. Her eye is kind of open. Huh? Her eye is kind of open. It's stuck like that. Alright, darling. Take some of the vetricin that I used yesterday. daughter Kayla behind the camera. Hey. <laughs> my gloves back on. I was able to get her to take just a little bit of this. Let's see. Let's take a little more. Hand feeding chickens.
good. Jeez, did you hear that? Yeah. There's chickens going crazy up in there in that hen house. Just some more water on that. Comes goat checking things out. Pretty little rooster. But you better get out of here, dude. Ain't where you belong. Negan's gonna get you. <laughs> I thought you said we're changing it. I am, I'm changing it. <laughs> he didn't do that. <laughs> Wanna tell people why he was named Negan? <laughs> Walking Dead. Yeah, it's from a show. Okay. Now, I am going to spray, since I wasn't able to, I'm just going to go ahead and spray her eye. Come here. I know you don't like it. I know. Come here, though. My neighbor was able to bring me over a little bit of diatomaceous earth. So I am just going to get a little bit of a handful. Make sure you get this. And I'm just going to... Brown. <laughs> Didn't expect that. You just thought it was going to be white. You just look at it and go, brown. It was. I'd never seen brown. <laughs> Hey, hey, yeah. go get. She keeps moving. I'm just taking this and rubbing it in. I'm going to take it down her legs. Go, you better not touch. Don't want to breathe this stuff in. Bad for you. You hear that goat? Don't breathe it in. <laughs> Good. Mm. I'm Pause it. You're gonna have blue coat on you. Helps if it's open. <laughs> Not the prettiest thing in the world, but she'll be multicolored. Okay, go ahead and put her in there. Okay. I'm going to pick him up.
help you. I got that piece off. His eyes able to open up a little bit. Okay. Um. Much easier. Just turn off the camera head. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to do some blue coat. This chicken be crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna close them, <laughs> them up in here. Oh, no. All right, now I have them both treated. Um, our neighbors across the street helped us out with some DE. Thank you so much, Tom and Christy. You guys are serious lifesavers. Um, I've sprayed them with the blue coat. Um, I've given them their eye treatments and supplemented some of the things in their water. Um, hopefully we are going to be on the mend here soon. Until next time, I'll see y'all. Thanks. <laughs>